What's happening boys and girls? Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having a good one. It's your boy Rough Diamond here and welcome to a new video. As you can see from the title, this is a Fortnite Battle Royale tips and tricks video for beginners to help you guys improve and hopefully get a win. I'll be covering all the basics as well as tips and tricks to help you guys get a head start. So what do we all think of Fortnite Battle Royale? Personally, I'm a big fan. I've been playing since the release. Before it's free to play, which means yes, I paid full price for the game, but honestly, I'm not too fussed about it. this is a great game. It's been out for a few months now and it's got a lot of attention. I've invested 100 plus hours into the game and have a handful of wins under my belt, but there's definitely a lot of room for improvement. So that's why I thought I'd make a tips and tricks video to myself improve and hopefully help you guys as well. When prepping for this video, I realised there were quite a few tips and tricks I wanted to mention. So I've decided to split it into two videos. One is for beginners, if you're pretty new to the game and need a head start, and one is for advanced players, just looking for the edge over their opponent. This will be part one for beginners, and keep an eye out on my channel for part two out very soon. And before we get started, a quick disclaimer. Some of you are probably aware of a lot of these tips and tricks, as it's quite general and mainly for beginners, but you never know, you might learn something new. Also, some of the tips and tricks may have been patched at the time of watching this video, just to give you a heads up. Also, as there's quite a few tips I want to bring to you guys, I'll be reeling them off pretty quickly and in a bullet point fashion. I won't be going into too much detail, as I know you guys are pretty switched on, so there's no need to. Right, let's get started. Choosing the right location to land can be the difference between winning and losing, or well, depending on your strategy and skill. Parachute too early into a large town, there's a greater chance of being taken. If you're just starting out and learning the ropes, I would say it's probably better to choose somewhere out of the way that people are less likely to land. Before you jump from the bus, it's always a good idea to choose a location by using the large map and marking it with a pointer. This helps you and your teammates as it leaves a pointer on the compass at the top of your screen. Also do the same when running around, this helps you plan routes and strategize as you have a location to head for instead of just running around aimlessly. Also before you jump, try and spot the location you want to land at. It's also a good idea to move the little white arrow on the bus so it's pointing in the right direction so when you jump you're already facing the right way. It's possible to reach any location on the map after jumping from the bus, you just need to free fall at the right angle. You can tell by the speed and distance you would travel on the mini map. Also don't be afraid to pull your glider umbrella early, just bear in mind other players may have reached a location before you depending on how well they parachuted down. While gliding, keep an eye out for other players and where they land. This will give you a good idea where other players will be when entering an area or a building. Try landing on rooftops and smashing through if you can. This means you'll be one of the first to land and closer to the loot. Also, chests are usually in attic lofts. It gives you a greater chance of finding them. Always use headphones to hear movement around you, especially footsteps. This will give you the edge over the enemy. Crouch as much as possible, especially around buildings. This makes your footsteps a lot quieter and helps you hear others. Mind for resources as much as possible from the start, but remember it's loud. Resources of building is essential for winning. You'll pick up drop resources from down foes, but it's not guaranteed what and how much you will get, so you can't rely on this. When mining for resources, hit the blue circle. This will speed things up. Also, when mining, make sure you don't stand still. This is to help to prevent you from being taken out. Build, build, build. Don't be tight with your resources. This can be the difference between winning and losing. As soon as someone starts shooting at you, try and make it your first reaction to build. Either build steps or a wall, depending on the situation. But ultimately, this will throw off the enemy as they can't see you anymore. Also, if you feel that an enemy is getting the upper hand or just out of the distance, build steps to get the higher ground and to gain control of the fight. Keep in mind, building in this game is just as useful as a gold scar. When running across map, make sure you're always looking for other players. Jump to look over hills every now and then and look behind you. Just because you come from that direction doesn't mean it is clear. Also, always check the storm. Don't expect it to be clear of enemy. Also, check bushes. The amount of times have been taken out by bushwookies. Use third person to your advantage. You can hide behind a tree or around the corner and still be completely hidden. If you need to get down from a cliff and don't want to lose any health, hug the cliff and build small platforms on the way down to break your fall. Like any shooter, when running across the map, don't run in a straight line. Keep your movements as random as possible. Include the odd jump here and there so players can't guess your next footstep and shoot you from across map. Zigzag patterns from cover to cover works well. Do not stand still, especially if you're in an open area. The amount of times I've been taken out by a sniper from a distance just because I stood still for two seconds. If you're reviving a teammate, drinking your shield potion or using meds, you can still move, but only slightly without cancelling the action. You could do this by using the left joystick or the arrow keys. You can also stand and crouch repeatedly, which some of us may know as teabagging. This means even when you're reviving your teammate, etc., you are still a moving target and harder to hit. Keep one step ahead of the storm. If you're not paying attention, it can really catch you out. Also keep an eye on the time and the safe zone at all times. When running the cross map, plan your route. Try and find areas which are less likely to have other players around. For example, if you're in a main road, you're more than likely going to be spotted and taken out. Try and choose an off-piece route. Don't rush. Winning isn't about how many kills you get, it's about coming first. It's good to be aggressive, but only in certain situations. If you're constantly hunting down and chasing players, there's a greater chance of you dying. I've seen players hide in a bush for a whole game. I wouldn't recommend this strategy as it's boring as, plus you won't be collecting any weapons from down foes, which means you'll end up being one-on-one -on -one with a player with a gold scar, and a rocket launcher, and you have nothing. Find the right balance that suits you. 
When entering an area, pick the right tool for the job. If you're running into a large area, have an AR equipped or a sniper rifle. If you're inside with this potential enemy hiding around every corner, equip the shotgun. Play smart. This also applies to the type of material you've selected and ready for building. If you find yourself in the middle of a gunfight and you run out of wood, this will really slow you down. Like any shooter, keep your crosshairs in the middle of the screen at all times. This means you're ready for the fight. I see players all the time running across the map with their crosshairs pointing in the ground and they get killed as soon as they come across a player. It's completely personal preference which weapons and consumables you keep on you, but remember you only have five slots. I always try to have one fully auto, like an AR for medium range, one shotty for short range, one scoped for long range, and some sort of explosives like grenades or a rocket launcher. And of course, meds. There isn't any point carrying grenades along with a grenade launcher, as they're both explosives and roughly do the same thing. That's a waste of one of your precious five spaces. So be a bit cutthroat and don't hang around dead bodies too long trying to decide which weapons to take. As the chances are, someone would have heard the commotion and are probably on their way to finish you off. Organise your inventory as early as possible. It's entirely personal preference, but mine goes AR, shotgun, sniper, explosive like grenades, and then meds. Weapon colours are quite straightforward and I won't bore you with it. Pretty obvious, but in case you weren't sure, it goes grey, least powerful, green, blue, purple, and then gold. In case you weren't aware, you can organise your inventory while healing. Saves time. Share, share, share with your team.